do. I love you, Charlene. Charlene is now a zombie bride. Hello, everybody. This is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, featuring Jose and Charlene. Now, last week, I officially buried Charlene in the ground because I bricked her touch screen, meaning that her touch screen is no longer responsive. So you can see, touching doesn't do anything. Capacitive buttons still work, everything is perfectly fine, you can flash ROMs just perfect, but she's got several paralyzed nerves in her face and needs really drastic reconstructive surgery. And I did reflash the correct kernel and the correct ROM, nothing fixes it, it is indeed dead, and she just needs a new face now pretty much, which is what I am going to do. But first, I'm going to take her apart and show all that on camera so you can see all her innards inside, then I'm going to take those innards and put them aside so that I can transplant them into the new face that I'm going to get for her. Jose is so excited he's gonna get his wife back. So we're gonna play it Doctor Who style and regenerate her with a garnet red face this time because I just think it'll give her a sassy attitude. And I think it will just make her look badass overall. So I'm so sorry, Charlene, that I hurt you. We're just gonna take out your parts today, okay? And then we're gonna reassemble you so that we can do the Truth of Gorilla Glass video. So with all the parts that don't really matter, I'm just gonna reassemble the phone and use it as a device for me to test out the strength of what Gorilla Glass can really handle. So we're gonna do some impact tests, we're gonna do some scratch tests. I'm gonna tell you what Gorilla Glass really is and what makes it what it is and a lot of its limitations as well. So we're gonna have lots of fun, Charlene, donating your body to science. I don't feel so bad anymore. If any of you are still feeling horrible about this, don't be! Because honestly, her face is so unbelievably burned in because I texted on her for several hours on end that I have a lot of image retention anyway. So she just, you're a pretty girl still, Charlene. You just need a new face. So don't feel bad. I needed to replace the display anyway, and this kind of gives me a full excuse because it's dead. Not much else I can do. Okay, Charlene, let's go and fix you. First and foremost, you should get yourself a tool kit. This is a precision tool kit that I got from Home Depot. Actually, this guy is in the wrong place. You need the screwdriver that is the size of 00, zero right here. So we have two examples of 00, zero screwdriver heads right here. This is Phillips screwdriver. The one that's on the left is actually just a little bit too pointy. You need the one that looks like the one on the right. The head is just a little less pointed so that it can actually catch onto your screws. I almost ended up stripping one of the screws beyond getting it out until I found the correct tool set. So, eh, do your best and listen to what I'm saying. The actual brand is called General and it will set you back about $18. They ended up giving me a $10 off discount because it was open and he felt bad for me because we were sitting there pretty much stripping the screw. It was hilarious. I wish I could have recorded that. The major tools that you're going to need for this is your 00 Phillips head screwdriver a pointy tool that also comes in your little tool kit, a flat-headed screwdriver, and a Wendy's spoon. This is not an advertisement. I'm just using it for the blunt edge on it. So, turn off your phone. Oh yeah, that's right, I can't touch the screen. Dang it! Alright, so in my case, I have to actually pull out the battery. I've got no SIM cards or memory cards. You've got 10 small screws that you need to remove with the Phillips screwdriver. They're all the exact same size, so it doesn't matter if you mix them up. So here are now are all 10 small screws that I have stowed away in a bottle cap, although I recommend something like a plastic baggie or something to keep them separate. So we need to start removing this plastic frame here. It's very simple to do. I'm just gonna grab the side here, pop it upward, which actually there's a clip up here, just one clip then you can just easily shimmy it and it comes right off there. This piece does have some antennas and antenna attachments in it so I will be needing this and we'll set this aside. Now we're going to remove this plastic piece here. It was a little bit gimmicky to get it off at first so I got myself a blunt edged object. You can see this is my Wendy's spoon so that I can wedge it underneath and it will pop up easily. But before you do that, you want to disconnect this connector, which is for your speaker here. I'm able to use my fingernail. I feel that I have a wider range of control doing that, but very gently I go underneath and just pop it up. You can see that it is now disconnected, that ribbon connector. Now on this part, you just need to dig your fingernail underneath. It starts to disconnect from the case. And this was the part that gave me a little bit of trouble. You take your blunt-ended object and just push it in there and it helps to pry it. Hopefully that won't happen to you. 
And you've got more antennas inside here, so we're going to keep this separate. This whole piece is one assembly. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to show you. This is the piece with the headphone jack. I almost forgot to show you that it's part of the assembly with the speaker and with a couple of antennas that's in here as well. I can point out a couple things. This is your GPS antenna, your Bluetooth antenna, and also you've got an area for your inductive charging. Yes, this phone is capable of inductive charging. I'm going to disconnect this ribbon cable here, which is connected to your SIM card and SD card slots, but first I need to unscrew this single screw right here. It's black so that I can put it in the same place as my other screws. It is not easily confused. Again, this is a size 00 Phillips screwdriver head. I made sure to pick a screwdriver that did not have a very pointy tip. This tool here is a flat-headed screwdriver, and I'm going to use that to go up underneath the SIM card and SD card slot. So let's go ahead and gently disconnect the ribbon cable there. And then take that flat-headed screwdriver and lift up underneath. It's only attached with double-sided tape, so that will come up very easily. Yeah, you can see that there. Now we're just going to set this aside. So if you accidentally damage your SIM card tray with a SIM card adapter, you can easily fix this part without any issue. And there's that double-sided tape. The next thing to go is this Wi-Fi antenna. You can see that it's connected here and goes up along this channel. And you can see that you have a little board here. So I'm going to use my thumbnail again. You want to make sure that you go from this side here and not this side so that you don't put any stress on this wire. It's very easy just to slip your thumbnail underneath. Don't put very much pressure and it comes right up without any issues, except for to my own nail here. It is held in by just a little bit of tape. Gently pull upward and it will start coming out of this channel without any issues. Now I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver and I'm going to pry this upward very gently. You do not want to put too much stress on that. It came right out as I have taken this apart before. It has a little bit of adhesive that you want to make sure stays on there, although it does tend to lose its tackiness. So this is your Wi-Fi antenna. When taking all these pieces out, be careful not to bend them as they do tend to bend very easily. The next thing that we're going to do is to take out the main board here. We just need to disconnect a couple of ribbon cables. Here we have the ribbon cable that is for the display. So again, I'm going to use my fingers and very carefully just pry it upward. See how easily that comes up. We're going to come up here. This one is to your front receiver. This one is for your camera. Just very easily pry that up. And then again, do that for this guy here. Just need to bend those up a little bit out of the way. Now that that is all detached, you can grab about here and it comes right out. As you're doing that, push the camera up a little bit so it releases from its little chassis and it lifts right out. So this is the main board that powers the entire phone. Here you've got a connector for your Wi-Fi. This is a connector for your 3G antenna. Up here is the microphone that you have on the top of the phone. You can also easily disconnect your back-facing camera. And here is the microphone on the bottom. And you've also got your micro USB port. And here you have your Exynos chip. Yay! Power! So I'm going to take this and put it inside of my anti-static bag. I'm going to be storing it in here until I can get that new screen. So here we have the vibrating module, and this time I'm going to take this flat-headed screwdriver and just pry it in there. Be very gentle. It's stuck on with just a double-sided adhesive. It should come right out. I'm actually going to use a pointed tool for this. Makes it a lot easier to get underneath it than with that flat-headed screwdriver. And then it should come right out fairly easily. Here's this whole piece here, and it's got a little bit of adhesive that is still stuck on here and on this itself, so it will stick again fairly well when I get the new assembly. 
Down here I have a couple of gaskets that I might want to remove just in case the new assembly I get doesn't have them attached. Take that out. And there's also one right here. Also here is our heat sink for the CPU. This is a little silicone piece that they put over here. It's a conductive layer that helps to conduct heat away from this area. So they may not include one of these and you can easily take this off. It does tear easily so be a little bit gentle with it. It slides underneath and I can put it also somewhere like a little plastic bag or something. Now this here is the screw that was almost stripped that just drove me absolutely insane and had me running to Home Depot for the correct tool set. So it does now come out very easily with the correct tool. Now this screw is flat, so again it's not going to be easy to get it confused with any of the other screws. Now I can go underneath with my fingernail and remove the front facing camera. And it should lift right out without much issue. It does come apart easily, all these pieces. So I've got your front facing camera and proximity sensor. Set that aside. Now lastly, we just need to remove the speaker for the receiver here. You've got your LED here and the ribbon cable that connects to that. Then up here finally you have your volume buttons and we will remove this here. And also we will remove the volume rocker and the power button because that will not come with the new screen assembly. Again, this part is a little bit tricky, although it wasn't very difficult. You just need to make sure that you don't bend this little board here. Take your flat edge screwdriver and start pulling away from the adhesive. It's just a double sided tape again. It actually comes out fairly easily. So start from here and start pulling up this ribbon cable. It's going to go underneath the LED and go up under here. This will remove the receiver. And now we're going to remove the volume section here. Be very gentle with it and it comes right out without any problems. It still has its adhesive here, so it should stick on the new phone without any problems. That's a complicated little piece now, isn't it? So let's start popping away these buttons here. People make fun of the way I say button, button, button. So flathead screwdriver, you can see that there are two little pieces here, and there's actually a place you can push in the middle. Start popping that out. It should come out very easily, actually. Grab it. it, comes right out. This rocker is not uniform entirely, just make sure you know which way it is oriented. Although I found that putting it in the wrong way yields a result that won't let you push it in, so I'm not too worried about that. This time I'm going to use my pointy tool to push the tabs here to get this out. This is the power button. It's going to take some patience to coax it out. This little devil is probably the hardest piece to remove. There we go. There's your power button. This part that's a little bit longer needs to be towards facing towards the bottom of the phone, and this needs to be facing towards the top. Put this away in a safe place. And you know what? We have now removed everything that matters on this phone, and the replacement will have everything that you see in here. Now this part is an adhesive that did not stay on this little assembly here. But when they send me a new screen, there should be a blue tape that goes over this so that it keeps its tackiness. When I remove that and reassemble everything, it should work just fine. Ah, but the one thing to note is what I'm ordering is this full chassis here and also the glass panel. So it comes in one piece. You can get just the display if you want, although it's a pain in the butt to remove. You need to heat it and then you need to break away the glass, and then you need to use the new adhesive that comes with it and place the glass in place. 
I don't want to deal with that. I'd rather just pay the extra money and get a full piece. So here are all the important pieces that I have taken out. You've got your SD card tray and your SIM card tray. You've got your revibrating module. You've got some rubber gaskets here. This is for the microphone. You've got a piece for your front receiver, for your volume buttons, and also for your LED. You've got your volume rocker and your power button. And you've also got your front facing camera and proximity sensor. You may or may not need to remove this little piece for your heat sink, but just keep that in mind. I'm going to keep it separated anyway. And then I've got some other pieces that have this, the speaker in it. It also has some antennas that are inside this. Same thing goes for this little guy. So this is all the stuff that I do not want to get destroyed. Do I really care about the back cover? I'll probably order a nice garnet red one, so eh, not really. It's kind of funny because the only piece that we're left with is the back cover and this screen assembly. I don't want to damage anything else, so this isn't exactly going to stay together. I could get creative in some way and kind of make it look like a shell of some sort. Haha! <laughs> tape! Everybody loves tape. We're gonna actually just tape that back cover onto the phone there. Is there a way to do this double-sided? I don't really think so. Mm -hmm. This will have to do. Three points for creativity. How pathetic is this? Doing such a crappy job. That tape on the screen area is just not working for me. This time I'm going to do a much more snazzy job by simply just doing it on the edges. Alright, I think I deserve a round of applause. Look, you don't have any tape there on the screen. It looks pretty legit now, doesn't it? Eh? 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 So we're going to test it in some cases. This is a considered quite a protective case. Then we're going to put it inside a not-so-protective case and an even further not-so-protective case. Then we're going to try to scratch at the screen with things like knives and screwdrivers and quarters and other things. Then we're going to take some sandpaper and we're going to scratch at the screen with that. Then we're going to try dropping it without being inside any cases and see exactly what happens to this guy. Granted, it's a little lighter now than what it would be with all its innards inside of it. Sorry, Charlene, we're now calling you an it because we've kind of taken out all of your parts. And we'll see how much abuse that this can withstand. It will be lots of fun. I'm actually excited. I've got to plan out that video and I shall see you all later. So this has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you go to my YouTube main channel page, you can become my friend on Facebook. I will accept you. There is a link on the right hand side. You can also follow me on Google Plus and you can follow me on Twitter. So please join me. And get the word out about this video if you have anyone else who wants to see some cool destruction that actually has some reasoning behind it other than just breaking shit. Have a good night, everybody!